uh, you'll need some heavy duty sockets like this especially if you live in a state like Minnesota like I do you'll need a heavy duty torque wrench like this all right uh, somebody needs to jump in and hold the brakes down while you do this and then you just all right take that off and once you take this off if you're replacing uh, the wheel hub you want to take these off okay all right so just take these off use some uh, DW40 if you have to all right you need a, a screwdriver right before you take this off you got to pop these up once you pop this off this should come off once you take this off and these bolts off you don't have to take these off if you're not replacing um the hub this once you take this off take your brakes off so it's pretty basic take three bolts off all right one two i'm working on that right now and right below that three got it so what i'm using is i'm using a jack to hold it up see how i'm holding that up easier to put back on so you ain't got to worry about it you can just adjust it by lifting it up and down okay let's do this once you take this thing apart take the old one out it's pretty easy just put a new one in you got to work at it you know but it, it's not hard it's not hard as you can see it's in we're ready to go ready to reassemble and I hate reassembling and change the oil and stuff because all right good luck so it's a tight fit okay but once you get it in you can get it in take a mallet right here and then kind of pound it gently pound it in so it goes in all the way right here okay kind of pound it in and then reassemble and you're be safe glasses gloves all right, be, make sure the car is stable. It won't move because you're going to be under here for a long time. It may take you hours to get this.